just finished watching that beautiful sunrise and it was really cool because the sun as it was coming up there was one moment where the sun was like right here and it peaked and i could see it it was so bright beautiful oh my gosh but i'm about to head home and unfortunately i cannot start my well i guess i can't do that uh unfortunately i uh, I am starting hard the uh, 90 day challenge to get a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, but I can't, my parents are still here. They're uh, here from Monday to and Tuesday and then they leave for the beach to go down with my grandparents. So I can't quite do everything I want to, but I have some shorts coming out today and or a short coming out today and tomorrow that I think will do pretty well. I hope, of course, I always think a <laughs> video that I make is going to do well. I'm going to go ahead and head home and get some breakfast and start the day off right. All right, see you guys at home. Just eating a little bit of lunch here. And I got a friend. Ooh. Hey, Leia. <laughs> hey, girl. Ooh. Always looking for that food, aren't you? So you might be asking me, Drew, how on earth are you going to complete this challenge? That's a good question. I plan to upload one short and one long form video vlog every single day. And on top of that, I would like to create one standalone video, you know, something that is just for me kind of thing that I, something that may not be in the genre or something, just something to create just for fun. I think this is a great formula for success. The long form will give me long-term subscribers and it will give me those watch hours and the shorts that I post will give me quick views more people coming in quicker and faster and I have also seen a lot of subscribers from the shorts which is a great way to grow and then the standalone will be maybe to attract some different people that might not originally watch my other videos along with it being just something fun that I want to do and create and have fun with so another question you might be asking yourself is, Drew, why haven't you been doing this for the past 21 days? And geez, that's a great question as well. God, y'all are on fire today. Well, the reason is, you know how you start something and you might love it at first and then two, three days later, you're like, eh, I don't really like this. You know, it was a good idea, but I'm over it now. I wanted to make sure that I would stick with it. And I've now done it for 21 days, three weeks and I think I'm ready to try the challenge. So over the previous three weeks, I've kind of just been doing my day and you know, pulling out my camera when maybe something interesting happens or when I have something to say and explaining what I'm gonna do, you know, at not a very good vlog in my opinion. I could definitely do better. I know I can do better. And I want to incorporate a story with the vlog, not just, okay, I ate breakfast, I worked out, I went to play basketball. I want something that y'all are invested in, something that you would want to watch every single day and not get bored of. I will be giving y'all weekly updates as well. So I'm starting this Monday. So next Monday, I will be showing y'all screenshots and my analytics on how many subscribers we have gained and watch hours or lack thereof. And over here, I will put how many subscribers we currently have and how many watch hours. I wanna say it's like 20 subscribers and one watch hour. If you're excited for the journey, I appreciate it. I'm very excited as well. I can't wait to see if we can actually get to the goal. 90 days, 1,000 subscribers, and 4,000 watch hours, which means I would be monetized. I guess I'll start the official plug. Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.